All right. Hey, guys, how you doing? This is Dr. Greg McLeod here from Elite Traders University. And welcome to the Thursday Power Hour. So good to be with you here on this fabulous Thursday. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how to choose uh, you know, what to trade. You know, there's so many things we can trade. And there's so many, uh, you know, instruments. You can trade stocks. You can trade commodities. You can trade, uh, well, no, 72 different currency pairs. But how do you can, what, how can you tell what to trade, what, you know, uh, choose the best possible thing to trade? Because you don't really want to spend a lot of time. You know, in the, uh, you no, know, years ago, I would spend a lot of time sitting in front of the computer trading. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about in this uh, power hour, we're going to talk about uh, what I use in order to narrow down uh, what to trade. Okay. Um, and so I'm not wasting time. Uh, I want to be able, if you ever thought about, you know, how can I trade um, with the least amount of time? A lot of people will turn trading into a job. And the whole idea of trading is it's supposed to be a side hustle of something that doesn't require a lot of time. Um, you're, you're very busy. You have jobs. You have families. You have friends. You have other things you want to do. You might be a market junkie, like some of my students are market junkies, and they will spend all day, all you know, all 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 day trading, all night trading. But you really need to have a well balanced life and not dedicate every single hour. Um, more is not necessarily better. Okay, so we want to learn how to work smart and not hard, um, because you can. It's very possible you can turn this into almost a twenty-four hour job. I've had students; they get so excited about my system and uh, the McLeod method and trading, and they see so many trading opportunities. They wind up spending twenty-four or forty-eight, seventy-two hours straight trading, and then you turn your your spouse into a forex widow. You turn your kids into Forex orphans because you are so wrapped up in your trading. And I say, you know, to make this thing really uh, the, the beauty of trading, the beauty of being able to trade is not only being able to do it any time you want, whenever you want, without any overhead, without any employees, without having any inventory, without having uh, all kinds of funnels and things like that. Uh, the, but the beauty of it is the time that you can make more money in a short amount of time. That's if you work smart, not hard. Because uh, if you don't, if you work hard and not smart, you'll turn into a job. And that's the whole, that's not the point. The point is to, to, uh, to, to be able to do this in a certain amount of time and then have the rest of your day free. Um, so um, initially when I first started trading, I was trying to create a system, trying to figure out what actually worked. So I spent a lot of time researching, a lot of time on the internet, searching stuff, a lot of time in books so in, in tapes and attending seminars. I was probably spent more, more like $100,000 or more in a gathering information to learn how to trade. They didn't have the YouTubes and things that we have access to all this information and AI and things like that. So... So when I came up with a system, I start refining it and start making money at it, reducing the amount of time that I spend on the computer was very important to me. So I got from maybe from eight hours to maybe four hours, and then from four hours to two hours. Um, in fact, one, uh, you know, I had small children when I, you know, I started trading in the, I started almost 30 years, 30 years ago, I started trading. And uh, you know my kids are now growing up now, but when they were little, you know they you know they cry, they wanted their day, they wanted to play. There was all kinds of we call it family forex night, right? As soon as you get in front of the computer, you know even if you had dinner and you spent time with everyone and you listened to everyone, you spent time watching TV, you played games, you you tucked them in the bed. But guess what? You get in front of the computer, you close the door, knock on the door. And there's always something. Daddy, I'm tired. I'm thirsty. Give me a glass of water. Honey, take out the trash. Hey, I want to talk to you right now. But I've got a million dollar order on right now. Can we wait? He's like, no. So we called it family forex. So I don't know if you've experienced that. 
that 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 no matter if you turn the computer on people just seem to show up your phone starts to ring people knock on the door everything happens right so um i decided to get an office i figured you know what um i got an office in long beach and and i got so i got in the car and would drive to tr trade around midnight pacific time and i would sit there and trade um and you know i would set it up like a professional office i had my TV screens and my coffee machine and my filing cabinet at a little, little office overlooking. I had a, oh, I could see the Queen Mary out the window. Um, and then uh, one day I would I went to the I, I went to, to office. I turned on the coffee machine, turned on the lights, turned on the the Bloomberg uh, TV and everything. And I'm putting a trade. I see a trade, and I went short. On uh, it was it was pound dollar or something. It dropped. I made like 4,000 bucks in like 15 minutes. And I said, well, what do I do now? I said, I'm going to go home. So I turned off the coffee machine, turned off the computers, and when did everything backwards, got back in the car and came back home. And then climbed back in the bed. My wife goes, what did you do, blow up your account? So I go, no, I did not. I made money in 15 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you for the vote of confidence. And I went back to sleep. And I realized that I could do that again and do that repeatedly and spend 15, 20 minutes, you know, more or less, you know, I spent an hour, two hours. And now, so I, right now I spend two hours or less trading, you know, so I'm not trading all the time. In fact, one of probably some of the reasons I in front of the computers because my students are chiming me or pinging me on, uh, on our message app. And then I, you know, I'll take a look at the markets or we have a winner circle, like we're going to have a winner circle in about an hour. I'm going to be trading the Asia session with uh, an elite group of my uh, students, of diehard students. But I give them two hours. They go, look, we're going to make money in two hours or we're out of here, right? Uh, that, that's, what, uh, no, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're going to make money in an hour or so. And, 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 and then and that's it. Right. If you can't make money in two hours, then you need to reread the ebook, rewatch the video modules, go watch my my videos or something because you're doing something wrong. But a lot of people become market junkies. They're addicted to the action. Right. And then Hugh says, be clear in your reasons for trading, set clear expectations and boundaries. Exactly. Right. You just don't want to, you just don't want to get hooked on the action. And I've got guys that are hooked on the action. And I going, did you make five thousand dollars last night? Why are you still? Oh, because you know this was fun. And like the, f <laughs> yeah, fun. Find fun somewhere else. You know, go find. Uh, you know, uh, take up a hobby like you know maybe build Lego models or something or, or you know, anything but trading. Don't make trading into a fun hobby because it will take your money and it won't be fun. So you really, really want to draw a boundary, you know. Uh, think of Forex as like your best friend. And you can hang out with your best friend for a little bit. But if you overstay, you're welcome. You know, let's say, say it was, there's two things that go bad after three days, house guests and fish, right? <laughs> so but you, don't want, you, you don't want to overstay your, your welcome. In fact, that's why I developed scalping, being able to get in the market and out of the market quickly, um, you know, and then... You know, and then how that developed I, at my brokerage, I had a boss and uh, he was like a father figure to me. And he said, hey, Greg, we're going to we're getting in this trade. We're getting this this Aussie yen trade. And we're going to get along this. You know, our indicators are lining up. And man, if you want to trade along with us, you know, you well, welcome. And I was looking at it, too. I got too got in too large. And so uh, the price was moving against me right away. Am I going oh, wow, I'm working at a brokerage and they gave me my first hot tip. Oh my God, this is like fantastic. I'm so excited. And then it goes down and I'm down. I'm like, oh, this sucks. And I'm, you know, doing my job and looking at the screen. We could all, we could trade and work. That's the great thing about the job I worked at. We could trade our own account and, you know, do our, our other duties. But on the other hand, that's the worst thing. You know, you're trading, you're looking at your charts and you're like, you know, not doing your job. I'm like, and, that, and you know, I was down like two hundred dollars. I'm like, oh, now I'm up. Now I'm up one hundred fifty. 
I'm up 150, I'm gonna close it out. And then when you close out that platform, it makes almost like it rings bells, ding, 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 or something. Cling. So I close it out and then my boss goes, did you close out that trade? And I go, yeah, I closed it out because I was up. He's like, this thing could run up 100 pips. You know, you're not supposed to cut your losers short. You know, let your winners run. You're cutting your winners short. Uh, yeah, but I made money. He's like, don't do that, you know? So I got back in and then it went up and it went down. I said, man, if this thing ever goes back up again, I'm getting out of this thing. I, you know, I, it went up. I mean, it went up like $200. Like, I'll close it out. Bing, 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 bing. Like, Greg, did you get out of that trade? Yeah. Okay. So let me turn the volume down next time. You know, remember, you, you, you don't want to like take the short term strategies. You need to, you know, swing trading. That's how you're going to get more pips, blah, 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 blah. Right. And uh, so, and then, so meanwhile, I was thinking up and down, buy, sell, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Buy, sell. So I was up like 700, 800 bucks. And I said, you know what? I'm done with this. You know, I just too much. I can't sit here and watch it. I'm done. Next day, come into work. God damn it. We go, whoa, what's that? Oh, the boss lost money. Well, I guess, sorry about that, Greg. And we all got lost on that trade. I go, I didn't lose on that trade. Something happened overnight in the end, and he, he lost money. Everyone lost who followed him. Uh, because you know it was a swing trade, but that thing dropped and dropped and dropped and hit a stop. He says, "Well, well Greg, you know, sorry about that." And he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good." You know, it's like, "Well, we all lost." It's like I didn't lose because I got, I was flat, I was happy, I was sleep. Uh, I had to get up in the morning to go to work, and so um, uh, that's where I learned. I said, "You know what?" And I started looking up stuff, and then I found the most successful traders that were on our platform that were trading at the brokerage, they were scalpers. They were short-term traders. Um, you know, um, In fact, we didn't like them because we couldn't offset their orders. So we would put them to another execution model. We put them on B book or, you know, they were, a, we were a booking and when we were sent them over to, we would send them over to the bank. He was like, well, the bank can handle them. Right. Cause we want people that we're going to lose. Right. Anyway, that's a whole different story there, but why we wanted to tell you, I'm sharing you that story was I didn't spend a lot of time in the market and I still made a daily target and got out and was able to come back again, right? And it was all about, about finding uh, trade selection. So I'm going to share with you a tool that I use and we're walk you through um, this, uh, yeah. Yeah, and he says, don't don't trade uh, drunk on adrenaline. Yeah, I call it TUI, trading under the influence, Hugh. When people trade, um, like we had an instance of TUI yesterday, we did a winner's circle. We were trading, we were uh, trading on a, a New Zealand dollar. Uh, we were trading that long. And then, you know, I got out, I'm done. And uh, But some of the students decided to trade NASDAQ long today. It's like going... Why I made so much money? And somebody, even the state search actors asked me, well, why don't you keep it to your target? Well, I didn't want to end up in Walmart. And we did go to, to the target. We did go to the 50 area and I got out. And so um, I already had entered the trade over and over and over and over again. So I had no reason. I had no reason to uh, actually uh, get back in again, you know, What's it? We I was all seeing on Wall Street. We say bulls get fed and bears get fed, but pigs get slaughtered. And the whole idea is don't be a pig, right? That's the whole idea, right? So this is even you know what we're. Let me. Uh, I'm trying to share the screen. I don't know if I'm sharing or not. Sharing is caring, all right? All right. All right. So I mean, like even here, right? I've got this box here. We broke outside the box. I'm up, you know, we're up like four hundred forty forty nine dollars or something like that. Uh, a trading view, right? Um, and the reason why we just took the trade. You look at, I'm looking at. You look at the higher time frame. You're looking at. Well, Greg, you know this higher time. I'm going to close it right now because there we go. <laughs> I went ahead and took that. Right, because we have a we have an uptrend. Right, we have a strong. Fairly strong uptrend. Uh, if you go down to a five-minute chart, you can see that uh, 
we are well, that's a five. So we want to maybe go to a 15. We want to go to like three, four, four times, right? I took it many times. I just start hitting that thing. Once we get a break and start moving, it's like, I am not, I don't want to sell. I'm not selling. I don't want to sell, right? But before that, I would look at my market heat map or an arrangement by, uh, you can go to mymarketheatmap.com and you actually can look at one of the three, uh, one of the six heat maps. And now the heat map for each of the different types of, uh, of uh, financial instruments, there are two Forex ones. There's the Forex majors. The major currency pairs make up about, I don't know, uh, 85, 80% of total Forex volume. It's currencies versus the U.S. dollar. That's the majors, right? Right now, it's gray because it resets um, for GMT midnight. So it's kind of gray right now. Um, and then it has a really cool economic calendar. If you refresh it and click the, the button down here, you can see that we have uh, this uh, economic calendar. I look at the economic calendar. That tells me a lot about what to trade. We had initial jobless claims. We had retail sales today. We had, um, and we had ECB press conference as well, an ECB rate announcement. We kept rates on change at 4.75%. Later on tonight, we're going to have Chinese data. And then this is, this is going to impact the heat map. So I'm going to actually log in to the heat map and show you um, some of the other currency pairs that may be moving during Asia. And um, so I'm just going to go. So there is the equity heat map. Equities include the... Uh, the the indices, NASDAQ, the Dow Jones 30, um, the Australia, ASX. So we have the indices heat map. So we can see at the top of the heat map of JPN 225, uh, which is the Nikkei 225 at the top spot, up 0.65%, right? Right, if we were to look at that, let's look at this. See, this at the top of the heat map. Everything else is gray because, you know, US is closed. Germany is closed, France is closed, Spain is closed, right? So this is one that we would want to trade. So if you're looking, you know, NASDAQ is kind of moving sideways. So we not, don't want to look, look at that. So we would just go to the, the, uh, the our charts, and then we can go uh, JPN225, JPN225, right? And then we can click the indices, and then we can see, oh, wow, it's an uptrend, right? We go uptrend. Well, they always tell you buy a pullback, buy the buy the pullback. So the uptrend. So we got a nice uptrend, right? We don't really see anything going on here. It's just one big long candle. But inside of that candle are all these candles, right? This is a, a 30 minute chart. If you go to a one hour chart, everything is in here. So there's uh, 15 seconds. Every one of these candles is 15 seconds. And then every one of these is a, you know, is an entry, an entry zone that we can get in, right? So you can see how many entry zones there's like numerous entry. Why? Because this is strong. This is very, very strong. Green is up. It is strong. It is green. Green is up. I'm not selling. I don't want to sell. I I don't want to trade like a pirate. Most of you guys are trading like pirates, right? With one hand over your eye, right, or a patch. Because you're only looking at one time frame on your phone. You got your phone. I don't have my phone, but you have your phone and you're looking at one time frame. And then you're making your judgment based on one time frame. If you've ever woken up early in the morning or you know, your alarm goes off, you got one, your head's in the pillow. You look up and you try to find your clock and you try to turn off that clock and you, pr and you reach over to it and you miss it. You miss it because you're using one eye. And so the perspective is off because you have one eye closed. And that's how tra trading is. Trading like a pirate, you are only looking at one time frame. So you think, oh, this is dropping. I'm getting short, right? And really, it is in a it is a pullback in a overall downtrend, right? You don't even... On the, we're on a 15 second chart. You don't even see it on here. You don't, all you see is maybe this candle going down just a little bit. So during Asia, no one wants to trade Asia because it doesn't look like it's moving. But I figured in my head, 
that there are like 2 billion Asian people and they are not getting up at four o'clock in the morning to trade our market at 930 Eastern time. They get super small into these smaller time frames, and they find entries in the direction of the primary trend, which is established, right? And so they basically are looking for, uh, you know, they're looking for any type of pullback, any type of discount. This is a discount, right? But the people will say, hey, I could take this short and make money. Yeah, you could, but you're really going counter trend. And counter trend is like the forbidden fruit in the uh, in the garden, right? We all know that story. It's like, hey, it's good for food and it's shiny and good. It's like, yeah, take that. You get short. You go to the bathroom, and then this thing turns around and bites you, right? So the whole idea is, you, you, we no, not to buy FOMO at the very top, but right. But when we stop. Falling, we we look to get in there. I got in just a little small position here just to show you that. Look, so I'm positive from entry, right? I'm positive from entry. This is not, this is the live market. And so I just put a tiny position in, but we just got in. As soon as we got in, we don't take, we very rarely take heat. We don't take heat because we uh, we can get in the market and take our, and take our money and get out, right? So, uh, anyway, that was that was just to show you that was that's that, that's a typical entry strategy. And there's so many entries. There's entries here and entries here. And there's also tons, tons and tons and tons of entries, right? Right. We can I mean, even like you re-enter again. We could, you know, we just place our stop loss below the swing low and look. See, we're back. We're in the money again. We just hit it again, right? Hit it again, all right? But I could hit it larger too. Like maybe, right? Let's see if we can get back to the old high. I went a little, little, little large, little. See if it uh, pops up a little bit higher than that. But we're doing from seventeen ninety nine to break even, and let's see if we can uh, break to a. Uh, <laughs> Seventy two cents. We should get up. Then we get a break. The north side, maybe, right? At least we can we can move our take profit right there, right? And then we can have our stop loss somewhere, uh, somewhere right there, maybe, right? Oh, boom! Make thirty four dollars, right? So like that. You guys see that? Make sense, right? And I can do that all day long, right? But I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you get trapped. It's like I'm trapped. All I gotta do you spin all night just eating the butt all the time, right? That's what I'm saying. How fast they made money. I made like $35, $35 in like seconds, right? Um, but the, the heat map is very key because what Japanese that was the Japanese current, uh, the Japanese index we were trading, right? It's at the top of the heat map, it's strong, right? So I'm not trading. So I want to trade the, the NASDAQ 100. It's my favorite. Well, it's not green, so I'm not going to trade it. <laughs> I'm going to trade where the action is, where the party is, right? Um, so you can look at the all, all Forex pairs, and then we can see some other action going on. Oh, everything's great. It's like nothing is. <laughs> Things are, aren't, aren't moving at all, right? And then, you know, and if you see that there's nothing moving, this is an ideal time not to trade. There's like, don't trade, don't, don't. Knowing when, you know, know when to hold them, know when to hold them, know when to run. Well, the heat map is a great way of like knowing not when to, not to be in the market as well as knowing when to be in the market. And we can have, we have global stocks. We can look at all instruments to see if there's anything on this planet that's that's running. JPN 225 is the only thing that's really, I mean, everything's moving a little bit, 0.2%, but, you know, I'm not going to try to trade something that's moving uh, very small. 0.6 is a lot more than 0. You know, the, that Aussie is 0. 0.18. It's almost, the threshold is 0. 0.2, positive and negative 0. 0.2. And there's, oh, there, look at these. You know, your Bitcoin, your Litecoin, they're all, but I, I don't trade those, but... There's crypto here as well. But it just gives you an, all, an overall an idea of what's going on in the market. 
So you're just not going, oh, wow, we, I, I just finished dinner. I'm going to go trade. It's like, but there's nothing going on, right? <laughs> so now you get chopped up where if you're in the sideways range, when you have zero point, uh, I'll show you what's going on here. What these numbers mean, we're looking at the, uh, and the colors, yellow means it's in play, that, you know, there's some activity and there's some buying coming in or selling. But, you know, the color tells you the direction. Green is up, red is a downtrend. Green is an uptrend, red is a downtrend. C is a closing price. This is a closing price, 33049. The high was 33079. Change of 0.6%. Uh, like 200 pips, it's moved, right? And it's it's moving high right now. It was up 0.61%. Could have held out long, a little bit longer, but... It's okay. Just for just for information's sake, that that you no, know, if it's the only thing green that's moving, you trade it, um, and you don't you don't trade what you don't see. So this is a way of me looking at finding out, taking the pulse of the market without having to go through every single chart. Right? I would normally ordinarily what you would do. Let's find uh, where we were. All right. Ordinarily, what we would do is go here to a watch list and go through every single pair. You go here, uh, here, and here. And then you would go through time frames too. You know, all oh, one hour, 15 seconds. That's an uptrend. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep going. It's not really moving. You know, and just keep going and keep going, you know. So I'm going through instead, I can just go through the heat map. Right. Uh, the dollar index is pretty important to look at. But look, it's this doji, 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 indecision, the the doji candlestick pattern that we see here. There's three of them. It means that like price isn't going anywhere. We're stuck in a range. We're stuck in a really big range. Now you're in a really big 101.91 to 101.97. This is a seven pip range. So that's, you know, this is the range that we're we're in. We're a tight consolidation, and that's what that those dojis are right there. So we want to stay out of the chop. The chop. This is the gray area. This is what's on the heat map. It's gray. This is what this is. Sideways consolidation. Nothing's really moving. Why? Because there's no volatility. Uh, here, that's a pretty good one. Cad yen zero point three three. We got a nice uptrend there. That's a that's a nice little nice little little mover there. Um, you know, we just want to see when this will rejoin the trend. It hasn't rejoined yet, and it's moving really slow. It's like fifteen second chart. And it's like not doing anything, right? I'm drawing trend lines across the top, right? That's as as opposed to drawing up. You know, these these don't mean any. People all they all teach you draw it like this, but um, the trend this is telling you that the uptrend has ended, but it hasn't. This higher time frame chart has much more. This line I drew is that line up here. This line right here is that line. It may look vertical. So, is this break? representative of this overall trend? And the answer is no, right? This is just a minor line. So why am I following it, right? Let's see, I can follow this one. Like, why am I? I need a little bit more juice here. 100,000 units of currency, right? And we should see why. So it was like, see, we're in the positive. See how fast I went to the positive? Why? Because the overall trend is up. So you make 10 bucks, right? Like that. These guys see that? Did you see that? I just looked at something, went up there, and then boom, right? Why? Because it's 0.36% change. This thing is strong. Anything else here, I can sort these by percentage change, too. Dollar yen is... See, all these, I would trade anything above 0.20 and higher, anything below, I'd stay out of it.
So that's another filter that you can use, right? That's another another filter you can use. Okay. So um, let me uh, stop sharing here. So the so you get the you can get my market heat map, um, and I believe if you go into the pricing, I think like uh, there is a month, there's a monthly fee there. If you want, you know, you don't have to, but um, and that's what I use. Or you can use so if you have Trading View. Trading View is a cost too. I think you can get access to. You have to build your watch list. I built my watch list. So you have to add the currencies, press plus to add a symbol. And then just add your symbols, type your symbol in and it will add it or click the plus and it'll add it and you can create your list. So you create a watch list. I have a Forex one. I have one just for Aussie, my Aussie pairs, right? Strongest one here, Aussie yen. Oh, there's my Aussie yen friend, right? All right. And when I draw, the thing is probably getting ready to pop too. Uh, it's at 0.35%. That's Aussie. I can, you know, I have um, my 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 metals and commodities. Then I have uh, energy. I have energy stocks. I have um, the forex majors. Right. I have consumer staples. See, I got I got a buy signal there. Let's see if we can take that. Let's see if that will um, pop up. You know, you play, play, play. Let's see, look at that. Like that, see? Like that. This is what we teach in Elite Traders University, how to find, you know, how to find high, uh, low risk, high probability trades. Um, you know, the amount of, of risk if you have a, uh, your stop loss below the swing lows. And then, you know, you try, you try and make it back to the old high. Uh, but you know you have a uh, you can predefine your your risk reward you know between your your risk and your potential reward and you know this is a 1.6 point 1.6 1.68 risk to reward you know if it starts moving up in your favor you can even just move your stop up to start trailing it up right um, I mean that's got an inverse right there but we can move this up. Right, and then now we have a three point five six, and then boom, right? And I had to take that, boom, right? You guys see that, right? I mean, don't know how many you guys need need to see, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm I'm glad that you uh, uh, were able to. Uh, I was able to share that with you. Uh, I'll open up to any uh, questions you may have. And then that, uh, then after that, I'm gonna have to go go to the winner's circle, right? But I hope you enjoyed that. We won't have uh, this will be the last one, uh, Thursday Power Hour for this year. Um, you know, taking two weeks off for uh, Christmas break, spend some time with some family. We'll see you back, you know, the second week of January. So um, just want to make sure that you have uh, see if you have any questions, and also um, I want to make sure that you uh, you know if you are interested. Or you have any inkling to want to be mentored? We are doing something that we're that we've never um, did before. Um, we are actually going to do a prop trading challenge boot camp, and which we will guarantee that you'll pass your prop trading challenge. And it's not going to just be all oh, theory and you know teaching from the videos, which is very good. But I know a lot of you guys want to learn uh, with hands on in the market. And maybe you already advanced and you already know the basics and things like that. And a lot of you guys will learn by actually seeing me, like I just did, get in and out of trades uh, in this in this in this manner. You know, being able to uh, pull off these these um, these trades. And you know, and I just uh, one student, uh, his name is uh, Lewis, just watched me trade and he just pulled off all these these wonderful sick trades where he did like you know. 10, 20 trades in a row with, without any losses. So uh, I think it's a great, uh, you know, a, a, a great opportunity for you guys to to learn how to trade and um, and actually see it, see the trades. You know, it's going to so be, it consists of uh, trading sessions. You'll be join my winner's circle for three sessions. Then you're going to join uh, Jamie, my top student, 
cut the uh, cut the rope. He's going to be doing the New York session. So three New York sessions and three um, and three Asia sessions per week, and plus we're gonna have uh, video content and a, uh, a, a a powerful chat room, and then we, you'll be able to see our trades and watch what we do, and then also we'll be recording it, so you'll be able to watch the recording. So how valuable would that be to be able to look over our shoulder and see those trades, not theory. Uh, but actually see it uh, in action, right? And so we are writing a special on that. And uh, and then hopefully, if you're you know, if you're interested in that, that uh, and uh, it's going to be a very special uh, a very special price as well, um, because the the frustration that most people have is that you know they spend and they'll spend you know hundreds of dollars in these challenges trying to pass them. And uh, and they don't have a system. They don't have a plan. They just think it's like a lottery ticket. And then once they get a fifty thousand dollar account to trade, they wind up losing it. And they and they and they. Um, so that's even. I think that's even the worst thing is that when you um, have access to capital to trade, and then you um, are not able to uh, to capitalize on it. And so. This is what we're we're doing. We're actually being able to uh, uh, to to show you uh, how we do it in a uh, in in the market. And so, I invite you to be one of the uh, uh, five people that we have to you know, if you want to learn how to pass these auditions, these trade auditions. I'll, I'll put the information here. And uh, so, you no, know, this is our pre-sale. Uh, that we're doing, and it's called uh, basically pass your uh, the pip and run prop trading audition passing. We guarantee that you will pass your audition, um, and we guarantee that, or we'll keep working with you. What you do? So, can you imagine being you know you you wind up you wind up uh, paying for an audition yourself, and now you've got this million dollar audition that you paid six thousand dollars for, or maybe a four hundred thousand dollar audition that you paid nine hundred dollars for. But now you have our help. Uh, you have Elite Traders University's help to help you pass the audition, right? And have our and we you have access to us, you know, for you know less than you know a Starbucks coffee a day, right? And so it's a three month class. Not you. Know, I, I don't think you need three months. I think after two weeks, the original turtles who uh, Richard Dennis trained fourteen people off the street who didn't know anything about trading. He taught them this proprietary system, and they went on to be the the most the wealthiest most uh, m most richest traders uh, in the nineteen eighties, right? And some a lot of them are still uh, you know uh, still trading even today in the original turtles. And so with that, that three months, you know, I don't think you'll need three months. I think once you see the system and seeing how, how the simplicity, how easy it is to follow, you're going to say, is this all there is? I had one person cussed me out saying, I can't believe I paid for this. I go, you have 100% win rate. Which, what is your problem? Well, it's so simple. I, want, I thought it was going to be more complicated. I go, but it's not. <laughs> I remember I was a middle school English teacher from South Central LA. And so my goal is to help students learn is to make it very as easy and fast as possible and to not make it complicated. So I made it very simple and very easy. And in fact, this, this prop trading mastery training, is, you know, is uh, just, you know, normally, you know, something like this or easily charge mentorship. We would charge ten, twelve thousand $12,000 for something like this. You know, but it's not going to be twelve thousand dollars, and not five thousand dollars of all that you're getting in the access to my thirty years of experience and training, and this ninety percent win rate system, and are the coaching and teaching that I have, being a former Wall Street insider and working uh, with large hedge funds, institutions, and banks in the brokerage field at the one of the largest forex broker dealers in the world, and one of the largest top uh, top tier banks in the world. That thirty years experience is going to be you're going to have access to uh, on a on a daily basis, 
and you have a guarantee, no risk to you, basically, you're going to blow the money on losing challenges anyway. You might as well have a plan to have someone to help you pass it and basically guarantee that, hey, if you don't pass that challenge, we'll work with you until you do, okay? And with this system, you most certainly should pass on the very first time. And so this is what we're here. This is the offer. The offer is 90 days of, of live trading with myself uh, during the uh, Asia session and with my uh, top instructor, former student graduate, uh, Jamie Rogers, James Rogers. Um, he is uh, going to be doing the New York session and uh, he has a top trading record as well. And that is going to be uh, include our VIP chat room to allow you to interface with other students from around the world. But we're going to keep the, the size small uh, so we can really focus people on success. We want success and testimonies. Um, when we do a public launch for this, um, uh, it will be a lot more. It will be a, a $10,000 product, um, but you'll be able to get access to this for uh, $2,497. And uh, you're also going to get our the, the suite of the pip and run indicators. You'll be taught the pip and run system, and you'll be uh, taught some uh, new systems uh, as well. Um, that uh, really you only need the pip and run system, but uh, most people don't believe me. They think, oh, I need all these systems. Well, if you want systems, that one guy gave him a system, eighty five percent win rate, and you know he went from losing trader from thirty percent win rate to eighty five percent, and he was mad at me. You know, why are you mad? You only give one system here? It's like, are you making money? Well, yeah, but I thought I was going to get a bunch of systems. But why? Because, you know, I want systems to be able to look. I go, this is not, this is not collecting. This is not Pawn Stars. We're not collecting stuff, right? But people want systems. So if you want extra systems, I got them for you. Will you need them? No, you'll probably use Pip and Run all your life once you get a hold of it. Um, but, you know, people want more systems to choose from. So, okay. So we're going to give you three additional systems uh, to, 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 to look at, to master. Um, also, we'll have, uh, we'll be creating video, fresh video modules based on today's current market. You know, I have people going, this stuff is old. It's from 200, 2015. I was like, did you make money with it? The Bible is old. Do you want to throw that away? <laughs> Anyway, people are funny, but and in in response for that, I'm listening. Well, we're gonna be. Oh, you want fresh content? The content will be so fresh, and we'll be recording it right when we're doing it. Right. So this is gonna be a this is a very is a brand new, um, experiential type of trading where um, instead of taking you through three steps of training, we're just gonna throw you right in there, just like I those um those old uh, John Wayne. Uh, there's a John Wayne flick where uh, this kid, he goes up to this little kid and he goes, hey, uh, get in the water. And the kid goes, no. I was like, why not? I don't know how to swim. And John Wayne picks the guy, kid up, and throws him in the water, right? <laughs> let me, I can't swim. Okay, yeah. I'll, let me, I'll, 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 share, I'll, I'll share that with you right now. Yeah, I, I actually found it really quickly. So, so uh, this is the way people want to learn, right? Because they don't want to go through classes and stuff like that. They want to get right to it, right? So let me go ahead and share the screen here and share the clip. And share, right? You guys can see my screen. Can't what? I can't swim. How old are you? Six. <laughs> Let me learn. Everybody should swim. Just reach out in front of you and grab a handful of water. Pull it back towards you. Not too fast. That's the way I learned. I did it, Amarato! I did it! Good. Well, how will he get back? Swim. Well, he might drown. Well, then you go get him. Well, I can't swim either. Mm -hmm.
can't swim. <laughs> so that's the way we're going to learn how to train, guys. So <laughs> we're just going to take you out in the deep water and throw you in. And um, you're going to trade alongside with us, and you're going to learn by watching, right? So how's that sound? All right. I don't see any questions in the chat box. And uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and uh, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Happy to you. And I wish you all the best. Again, my name is Dr. Greg McLeod from Elite Traders University, the number one place to learn how to trade anything, whether it's Forex or gold. I definitely want you, wish you would uh, also check out my uh, my new ebook that I just uh, just wrote. And uh, so it's a tremendous, uh, tremendous, great book that will, will help you, will transform your trading. And it's called uh, the... Uh, the the goal to rush blueprint right and just discover how to you know basically a day trade how to day trade the forex the day trade gold day, day trade gold right so this uh, you want to learn how to learn how to day trade gold for a living this is what you want to do right so so you want to go to the uh the the book we, the book rolled out it's just 499 guys um it has 115 pages you got to unlock the secrets of trading gold, you know, uh, acquire expert trading skills, uh, master market dynamics, how to navigate the economic landscape. And guys, you know what's happening with, uh, if you haven't had any issues with MT4, and you also see what's going on with the dollar, you see the stockpiling by central banks of gold, the BRICS are creating a currency based on gold. So we have these other things going on that are leading to the demise of the dollar. So you want to learn how to trade something else. And so you want to learn how to trade gold. And so uh, I invite you to uh, also check out this, uh, 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 my, my ebook. And it's, and uh, let's go ahead and put that link in there. The, the Gold Rush Blueprint coming your way. And... Uh, I'll put that in there, paste, and go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. All right. Hey, guys. How you doing? Don't know this is Dr. Greg. Okay. All right. So so anyway, this is uh, Dr. Greg signing out here. Remember, to check out that gold, the Gold Rush Blueprint and uh, get your copy. And uh, remember, you, know, you, you want to equip yourself to trade gold so you're not, uh, so you are not caught on the wrong side of it. Uh, the monetary history we're making 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 history in the markets uh where gold uh based on the blockchain and gold combined together are creating a unique trading opportunity we saw gold spike up to the 2000 uh over the 2100 area and so this is a historic transition in um, the financial markets, a move to gold, a move to digital currency, and the move away from the U.S. dollar. So don't be left out. Um, don't, you know, you know, they're rolling out the central bank coins. You know, they're talking about you being happy and not owning anything. And, you know, they're talking about social scores and things like that. So uh, read the book, learn how to trade gold. Uh, you'll uh, definitely benefit your family and uh, your future. Okay. And with that said, again, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and we'll talk to you later. See you next year.